ASTM's uh, legacy operator definition. No. Um, so ASTM, you know, the, they're the, uh, the standardizations uh, organization. Uh, and so their definition that they're looking to get adopted that we're right now considering within the social equity roundtable is a uh, legacy operator is a legacy operator is an individual who commercially from the majority of their income or sacramentally or ceremonially distributed cannabis outside of the legal framework during the period of prohibition for a minimum of five years before legalization. That sounds very mm -hmm. similar to what you were talking about when you said how your office views uh, legacy. So um, yeah. it sounds like there's some potential there to have that language adopted or something like that adopted maybe. Well, uh, I, moving forward. I, I will say like this, this question of like finding some sort of like legal pathway for legacy has been on the table in New York for the last three, four or five years now. Um, it's not, the answer is not coming to us and it's not coming in time for this industry. And so what, what my team has been focused on in our conversations with legacy operators, we've actually realized that a lot of these individuals have lived or currently live or at some point in their lives lived in communities disproportionately impacted by cannabis prohibition. Um, and those communities are prioritized under the cannabis law for access to licensing. Uh, so the okay. South Bronx, East Brooklyn, uh, a lot of parts of Queens, uh, East Buffalo. So we're actually, you know, intending to go out later this summer and meet with a lot of these legacy groups in these cities and in these populations to tell them, you know, if you can find your leases from these years, if you can find your, you know, your 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 tax returns from these years or whatever that says that you lived at these addresses, you actually will qualify for priority and licensing if you want a cultivation license or a retail license. And so it's about finding other way, ways to meet them where they're at, um, as opposed to, you know, trying to create this new definition of legacy that will immediately just get challenged by a lawsuit. <laughs>